Hello uh, and welcome, my name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. We were just about to board the Van Eltia because we are searching for our last Earth Pulse point. We just got to the Titania Island prison as our new hideout. We had quite a relaxing few episodes we've just been like chilling out in our base getting some backstory just having some idle chit chatter between the party members that kind of thing and now we are going to explore another earth pulse point so get prepared for some more cutscenes let's do this look at the little chick on his head he's so cute i wonder if that chick ever leaves its head ever leave his leaves his head and he doesn't he hasn't even made a nest on his head like it's just the hair maybe the hair is enough to make a nest i don't know <laughs> let's see what he says the first mate told me we're going to be looking for an earth pulse thingy right the ship's ready to leave whenever do you want to depart now yep let's go leave i'm done here i think done most of uh most of the stuff here looks like we're going into a new place cool did we just go off of the map i'm not sure it looked like we just went off of the map it's here this is the Earth Pulse Point. What, in the middle Nothing of nowhere? Nothing open water as far as the eye can see. Is your Earth Pulse Point down below? Ooh, oh. underwater. Most of this world is covered by ocean. So of course there'd be a lot of Earth Pulse Points in the deep sea. But surely even the Abbey would have a hard time containing Aetherian underwater, right? Looks like this one's a bust then. Sorry, everyone. Hold on. We've seen a bug Therian. You don't think there could be fish as well? You may have a point. I think I have just a solution for this. You do? This. What? what? <laughs> Don't Fishing give me rod. that look. I'll have you know this is Fujibayashi's rod. This baby's nine feet long, made from a single piece of the finest bamboo aged five years, with a slow 60-40 action that almost feels alive when it bends. <laughs> wow, he must be really it's into that. Its exquisitely wrapped handle feels like an extension of your own arm. And just look at that elegant black lacquer finish. <laughs> it's as perfect a fishing rod as there can be. Damn, he is like I'm, really proud of that. I'm sure it's a lovely fishing pole, but fishing? Are you sure? This is Aetherian we're talking about. All the more reason. Remember who you travel with. Uh, okay. All right, if no one else will, I'm going to veto this fishing idea. Aw, oh, come on, let's give it a shot. Besides, I'm hungry. Even if all we catch is fish, at least we'll have dinner. Mm, I'd love to have me some koi or sockeye salmon. Don't encourage them. How do you attach the hook to the line? Like this? <laughs> you don't go fishing much, do you? It's just been a while. I used to go fishing with my brother sometimes. This is my first time. Then we can try it together. I'll teach you how it's done. I didn't know you could fish, Eleanor. Oh, fight over yeah, lapis. When I was little, old man Tenny taught me. He was from my village. I've caught at least a hundred tree at loaches over the years. Wow, that's a lot of fish. Those two really get along. If I didn't know better, I think she's his sister, not his vessel. Eleanor certainly got Lafayette's number. Better watch out, Velvet, or she'll steal him away. <laughs> she looks angry. Luffy said. Let's get the line set up properly. First, you take it and thread it through the hook, like so. That looks hard. Uh, hey. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it with your eyes shut. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Aw, she feels totally left out. Aw, and she's getting flashbacks. Luffy. Huh? You mean me? Oh, um, I was just... Be careful there. Wouldn't want you falling into the water or anything. I'm not a little kid, you know. It's just that Luffy fell in once. A long time ago. Luffy? You mean your younger brother? That's right. You reminded me of him is all. If you say so. Is that all you wanted to say to me? Yeah, that's it. Okay then. I'm going back to fishing with Eleanor. Mm -mm. People aren't as easily swapped in and out as fish hooks, are they? Is that supposed to mean something? Oh, Velvet, uh, you gotta get it a lot tighter than that. Here, let me take a look at it. Huh? Oh, uh, all right. 
she seems to be going through a very hard time right now, doesn't she? Now, oh, cool, so we get to explore the Van Eltia. Is this the first time we've had control on the Van Eltia? I'm not sure. We might have had it before, but I can't remember. So this is the new outfit that we recently got with Velvet. She's got even less clothing on. Oh my god. How can she walk around like that? I would just feel so embarrassed. Oh my god. She's like wearing like just, just tattered clothing. It's just barely anything. Like I kind of wonder what this outfit actually looked like before it got absolutely demolished like that like how did that even happen i like how the description says if velvet needs to lose her black coat she will that's all there is to it <laughs> okay three years in prison left her clothes in tatters what did it do to her it destroyed her from the inside out she is one crazy lady now okay i don't know why i just randomly went on to the menu but let's talk to <laughs> Nappy. old man tenny sounds like he was a real goofball Definitely. He used to say the weirdest things while we'd be fishing, just to make me laugh. Like what? Oh, it was all nonsense, but it was funny to me. Silly stuff like... Papero popero pippity poppity poo <laughs> Yeah, that's silly, alright. Those two look like they're having fun. She's there like, curse those two over there having fun without me. Ugh, the water looks really nice. I don't know why I like looking at water in games, and it looks... Very nice. It looks very blue. I think it looks a bit too blue, but I like it. <laughs> Let's talk to Laffy. <laughs> Teddy is funny, but it's even funnier coming from you, Eleanor. Oh my god. Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. There's Colette Colatti's Collections and the Butcher Mets Meat at the Meat. Oh my god, it's like tongue twisters. Teddy is a veritable treasure trove of wordplay. I want to meet this Teddy. He sounds like quite a character. You think we can call up Etherian by blasting a cannon at the ocean? I mean, that's kind of a good idea. Maybe. You guys are scarier than demons sometimes. <laughs> I want to try it. Blast the cannon! Fire! Anchors away! I mean, not that one. <laughs> no anchors away. <laughs> but blast the cannon, that would be awesome. Alright, let's talk to this dude. Uh-oh, the skipper's got a hold of the fishing rod. This is gonna get ugly. He does seem absolutely obsessed with that thing, doesn't he? I like that he's so passionate about stuff. Like, he loved his under underground tunnels and he loves his fishing and stuff. So, he definitely seems to get, like, really involved in the hobbies that he partakes in, which is really cool to see. I like it when people have a passion like that. All right, BMF, how are you doing? This really takes me back. One summer, Magalu used me as bait to catch a whale. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, that was about as fun as it sounds. That sounds pretty funny to watch. Magalu, did you really do this? If you truly admired the fishies, you'd never dream of doing this to them. No matter how tasty the bait, it's a poor trade for a barbed hook in the lip and a cruel death in the unforgiving air. I don't admire fish. Fish exist to be caught and eaten, as far as I'm concerned. Can't argue there. Raw, boiled, or grilled with a little salt. You can't go wrong. <laughs> and if they're nothing but food to you, even their wretched squirms of agony can hold a kind of beauty. <laughs> That's pretty sadistic, Magalu. <laughs> My god. I like a little bit of fish. Like, I never used to like seafood at all. But recently, I've started trying to get into seafood a little bit. I do like salmon. I never used to like salmon. I used to hate salmon. And I do like cod, but I've always liked cod, though, like from the fish and chips shop. Like, that's fine. But yeah, I've, I also like shrimp, and I never used to like shrimp. They've got a funny texture, so it's a little bit... It took a little while to get used to the texture of shrimp, but the actual taste itself is pretty good. I do like it. I probably don't like every kind of fish, but yeah, I'm definitely becoming a bit more open-minded with seafood. I used to just hate it. I think it was the smell. It's like when I used to walk to school every day, there was a fishmonger's right on the way to school. And every time I used to hate the smell so bad. I used to hold my nose every time I used to walk past it. <laughs> it sounds kind of childish and it probably is, but... <laughs> I just hated it when I was younger. I just couldn't stand the smell. It was horrible. All right, what's Magalu got to say? Hey, Velvet, I spotted a giant's oarfish. Try to catch it. I'm feeling peckish. 
I don't know if Velvet is any good at catching fish. All right, what are these two Isaac, talking about? It should about be fun conversation. Let's see who can catch the biggest fish. Ah, don't competitiveness. Be Fishing is a solitary battle. It's about meditation and self-control. Oh, aren't you the philosophical one all of a sudden? <sighs> but I suppose. I can't deny I really want to put this rod to the test. Yeah, I know that feeling. Whenever I find a good sword, there's nothing I want to do more than to swing it. Sure enough. There's just something about good equipment that gets the blood pumping. Yeah. Although in my case, it's usually more like blood spurting. A bit too much blood either way, if you ask me. Listen, we're fishing no matter what. Wouldn't the competition be better for getting that blood of yours pumping? Fine. You're on. But we both know already how this is gonna end. <laughs> you can plan all the victory speeches you like, but fishing is like life. It doesn't always go the way you think it will. You ready? Let's do this. At what point did the Therian hunt turn into a contest? Hey, Velvet! I've got your rod all set up for you. Don't stop them, Velvet, because competitiveness is very healthy and it's exciting. I love that feeling of, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna beat ya. <laughs> it's an awesome feeling. It's cool. Competitiveness should always be there in some shape or form. It's good for you, <laughs> I think. As long as you just don't take it too far and get like really bitter when you lose or something. <laughs> it's all good fun if, if, uh, that's not the case. This thing could even catch a whale if you wanted to. The rest is up to you. Now get out there and fish up a big one. A Therian, you mean. <sighs> Might as well give it a shot. It's not like anyone else remembers what we're here for. <laughs> That's true. They just want the fish. Oh, something's pulling the line. Stay calm. Fishing isn't about strength. It's about timing. Oh, okay. Isn't Got it about both, Here it though? comes. You ready? Damn right I am. I'll fillet it before it can even land. If it's a Therian, don't you dare kill it. Now! Heave! <laughs> Look at Magalu. She looks so excited. Oh, a treasure chest. Wait, demon horns? Well, what do you know? God. Neither a fish nor a Therian. Well, shoot. Can't eat that. They all look disappointed. It looks like it fit you, though, Laffy said. Why don't you try it on? I concur. Maybe it'll bring out his unique personality. My unique personality, huh? He's gonna look adorable with that one, I just know it. See? What did I tell you? It looks great on you, Laffy said. I wanna see, I wanna see. Oh, it's you, cute. You really think so? Yeah. Brings out your special charm, kiddo. Demon Laffy said. Come on. Back to Therian fishing. <laughs> it looks so funny. I wonder if we'll get that as an attachment. Why does she look so sad? Hey, you don't need to take it so seriously. I have to catch the Therian. Maybe then Velvet will see me for who I am. Ugh, not a bite. Oh, quit your grumbling. Who was it who said fishing doesn't always go how you think it will? Spoken like a true, heartless pirate. Oh, hey! I've got something! <sighs> what damn, how many treasure chests do they do they have down there? Whoa, looks like I'm next! <laughs> she looks graceful, even when filling up treasure chests. I love that. It's funny how they all have weird attachments, like... Who puts these treasure <sighs> chests down there, these, these weird items in? <laughs> I think it's decent. I'm wondering if those horns were, was actually the Ferian huh? or something. He seems to be changing, like something's happening to him. What's he doing? I don't trust you, Lafacette. What are you doing? What did he just do? <laughs> it's being silly. <laughs> you found a look all your own. Ah, the vagaries of youth. I thought it was going to be something bad for a second. <laughs> you don't take half measures, do you, kid? <laughs> he looks awesome. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Laffy said? What's that going on? You look ridiculous. Take that off. Why does he look so depressed? Stop it! 
What do you know about me anyway? Oh my, what's happening? I... I know that looks silly on you. All you know is you're Lofi. <gasps> oh man. What's happened to the cute and innocent Lafacet? He's talking back to Velvet. What's going on? Hey, Velvet, something's pulling on your rod. Wow, so does this really affect him? Uh, uh, is he really bothered by the fact that Velvet is still like it's torn a big about one. her brother? Maybe. Get everything you've got. Come on, Velvet, you got this. I know what I'm doing. Oh my! It's a giant what? pot. <laughs> That's random. It's. It's a pot. It's a big one, all right, but. A pot. Yay. You haven't looked inside What's a yet. What's pot doing out here? There might be something good in there, you know. There's something inside it. What is it? Oh, it's a hermit crab. Ew. Ewee, 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 ewee. Oh, it's an octopus. It's got lots of tentacles and stuff. Ew. An octopot? <laughs> an octopot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't mind hermit crabs. It was just all the tentacles that was peering out of the pot. It creeped me out. <laughs> Dumpus. What a weird name. Is it because he got dumped into the ocean? I don't know. The squeak. Those puns were pretty bad, Magaloo. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my god. Alright, one last octopus to go. Octopot, I mean, I should say. I wonder what happened to Lapiset. I've never seen Come him on, like really? that before. That was such a surprise. I was not expecting him to talk back to Velvet like that. He's normally like so passive and so happy and so just innocent really and I just wasn't expecting him to turn around and say that I was like oh my god is this a different person but in a way I guess it's kind of a good thing but like I don't want to see these two argue that would be sad we'll just have to see what happens I suppose phew that was scary be more careful before you approach a suspicious object she does tell him off a lot, doesn't she? You think Laffy would have stayed back? That has nothing to do with this! What's going on between those two? Hold on. There's something else inside. What is it? Oh my god! <laughs> how the... How did they fit in there? <laughs> Zombies came out. That was the freakiest thing ever. <laughs> that was so now freaky. What the hell is this weird pot? This is like a magician's part or something. That's so weird. I was definitely not expecting that. Oh, I missed the dialogue. That sucked. Wow, that was crazy. An octopus army? A horde of undead? What the hell is this pot? That's what I want to know. That is a weird pot. To think I'd get to see one with my own eyes. Oh, you know what it is? What is it? Huh? Is there something special about this creepy old pot? <laughs> creepy, you say? That's why these things need to be left to the professionals. Is it a magic pot? Listen and behold. This is none other than a water jug made by the potter Groon during King Clauden's reign. It was a legendary once in a millennium masterpiece, but it was lost in the Second Warring States period 200 years ago. Assertive yet not ostentatious, the piece draws you in with its stately curves and the subtle shimmer of its colors, which belie a hidden savagery. Two lectures in one day? <sighs> yeah, he's talking gibberish, but that's men in general, I suppose. The lost glazing technique of the Orosaurin is so vibrant, it looks like it could start moving at any moment. Yeah, that doesn't look good. What is that? I guess I shouldn't be surprised that we get a boss. Oh, and start moving it again. certainly did. Yeah. <laughs> it's a demon pot! Pandora Pot. That's a pretty fitting name. Like Pandora's box. You never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, that's pretty hard. <laughs> How are they gonna preserve this? This is just not gonna happen, right? It's a pretty interesting design. It looks really weird. Where do I attack it? Because it seems like it's like guarding, because it seems to have like some kind of barrier. Maybe I've got to attack the front of it. 
Yeah, I think I've got to attack the front, I see. It also means that we're going to be sort of vulnerable to attacks as well. So we've got to be a little bit careful. Let's see. Oh god. No, he stunned me. Don't stun me, you mean putt. It looks so weird. Like, the front kind of looks like an acorn. It's really weird looking. But alright. Oh my god, my character's going crazy on it. They're like, attack the pot. Crazy pot. Okay. It kind of looks like a plant, but like, pot form. <laughs> a pot form of a plant. <laughs> That's strange. He's still got 27,000 HP. He's armoured. That might be why I'm guessing this little shield thing come up. And he's weak to hidden arts. His weakness is actually... Yes, let's switch to Aizen because he seems to be weak to earth and Aizen is earth element. So this could work out pretty good. If I can get my... Yes, I should be able to do a Mr. Cart. Um, what button was it? I need to remember. I think it was one of the back buttons and something. I can't remember what it was now. Oh no. Oh my. Get up, Aizen. Get up. You can do this. What was it? I can't remember. I can't remember now already. <laughs> it's only been a few days since I played. <laughs> Memory is terrible. Uh, Aizen, we need to get your combos in there. Come on, you've got like four or five of these thingies. Oh no, I'm losing life. Um, I mean the, um, the little circle thing with a number in. He's got like four of them. Okay, I need some, some health anyway. Cause otherwise he's going to die. Why didn't that put my health up? I just used an item and... He didn't even gain any life. Why is that? What did I use? I did use 30% health, right? So I don't know. I don't know why. Why can't I use health on him? That makes no sense whatsoever. I think Aizen's probably going to die. Let's change character then before he does end up killing himself. That would not be good. Oh no, I've been attacked on the floor by a beam thing. Not cool. Oh, that was the that was the thing. I will remember the button now. <laughs> okay. Cool. I've got to get the thing back up now, though. I want to use Ivan. I think he's regaining life when he's not being used. That's cool. I think we should be able to swap out now. Yeah. Oh no, I pressed it again by accident. No, I'm using up my things at this rate. Okay, go. We're making good progress here. He's nearly dead. He's almost got this weird looking pot thing. I love how Aizen just has so much weird knowledge. He just like knows everything about like the most random things ever. <laughs> so funny. Ah, no. Oh, he keeps stunning. That's so irritating. I don't really like the stuns that much. It's a little annoying. Okay, ow. Oh, don't do that. Oh, I got a spell. What was that? Windlands? Let's do that again. Windlands! Yeah! Alright, go! Oh, crazy, he's moving again. <gasps> Whoa, what happened? Damn, let's change character. I just heard like loads of characters speak all at once and I got worried. <laughs> I thought he just like wiped out my entire team for a second. Well, he should definitely be dead now because he was low life anyway. This should finish him off. There we go. Did you see my complete and utter victory? Did I did. I did, I did, I did. Well done, Magalu. Is that the end of the pot? I guess that's the Therian. It's finally decided to behave itself. Wait, Velvet! Don't eat it! It's a Therian. It's a pot. I'm not gonna eat it. <sighs> I guess there weren't any Therians to be found here after all. You're looking at it. Yeah. If there'd have been any, you'd think all Aizen's Reaper curse would have drawn him out. Oh, so that's why all we caught today were weird, useless things. Right, just blame right. Aizen. We forgot about the curse. So all this was Aizen's fault, huh? Funny how quickly you get used to it. I think it's funny how everyone just blames uh, him. My power didn't end up helping us out at all. Nope. Wow, that was direct, mm -hmm. Velvet. But I know you're not the type to give up after a little setback. Isn't that right, Fee? Huh? Fee? It's your nickname. Not a whole lot of thought put into it, but... You're you. You're Fee. Velvet. Aw, that's nice. Fee. I like it. It has personality. Thanks. Of course, if you still feel like giving up. 
No, I'm gonna find us the next Earth Pulse point. Was that pot really not the Ferion? So I really thought that that was gonna be the Ferion. Oh, hey, there's something else inside the pot. What is it? Stone? A rock? This golden luster, it's. it's Oracalcum! Oh, nice. I think that's pretty rare. I get it now. This must be where that ship sank all those years ago. The one Kurogane told us about. Hell yeah! Kurogane might actually be able to make me an Oracalcum sword. Nice. Nice find, Aizen. You too, Lafayette. It wasn't easy, but we didn't come away empty handed. And just getting a chance to fish again was lots of fun. Yeah. I had a really good time, too. Even I was entertained. Especially your little costume show, kiddo. <laughs> that was funny. I can't believe he was wrong, though. I bet he was right all along. I don't know why we didn't find it, though. The sun's going down soon. Let's head back to Titania. I have a hard time believing that Lafayette was off the mark there. But who knows? What's that question mark below us? I want to know what that is. Oh, are we going back to our hideout? Ah, oh, back to the hideout. Ah, oh, he's going to be really happy, that headless swordman dude. He is going to be loving it. Now we got that stone. He's going to be in his element. Oh, did we not? I want to see his reaction to us finding the stone. Hopefully it will let us see that. I hope it does. We got an ancient water jug. Oh, God, we got loads of stuff. Oh, cool, we get to keep all the things. Cool, and we got a takoyaki recipe. Nice, we got loads of stuff. This makes me happy. All right, so if we go on to, let's go on to fashion and see, because I want to, oh, we've only got one character though, but we can equip the horns. I like that it gave us horns. I really like that it let us keep all of these as well. That's pretty cool. X-ray glasses, cool, and a mustache, because you just got to give velvet a mustache. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop the episode here and we will explore the base in the next episode and hopefully see the, I think it's called Kuragane or something, hopefully see his reaction to us getting the stone. I think that's going to be pretty cool. I want to see his happy reaction. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time. Even get some oh. bronze